so now we understood what is the best place to place the script file in a html document we have understood so basic thing we have understood so up to now the knowledge what we have understood what we have gathered so instead of placing it here we have found some difficulties the document dot get elements by tag name we are not able to find it why because the execution will go on top to bottom approach so that is the reason i have placed it below the button so that now the button will be rendered and afterwards i am trying to get that button means automatically in the dom the button will be there the javascript is able to capture that button so that is one thing now there are some extra attributes for the script file that is nothing but a sync and also a differ okay so these are the two different things which we will be having in the javascript let's try to discuss about this async and differ so in our modern websites scripts are often heavier than the html so we already know that scripts if you try to see we will be writing lots of lots of lots of code scripts will be often will be always it will be heavier than the html file the html file will be having less only but the script this file will be so much of code we will be having the scripts is the main thing only and obviously if the scripts is having more number of lines means the download size also will be larger the file size of that one also will be larger if the file size is larger means the processing time is also will be very larger that means the execution time also will take so much of time so these all are internally dependent to each other so uh, the script file obviously it will become larger why because we will be having so much of dynamic behavior we want to execute it we will be having lots of lots of script files we will be having so these all the downloads file size everything will be larger execution time also will take larger time so when you place this one when the browser loads the html so i will try to tell you another one when the browser loads the html and comes across a script element here okay it can't continue building the dom so it will not go it will not go below this dom and it will can't con it will not continue it has to download this one it has to execute this one execute script right now so that is the thing so that means here the browser will wait okay this browser so the browser which we are trying to do the browser will wait for the script to download execute the downloaded script and only then it can process to the next stage so that is the main thing so we already understood the two the two important problems which we have is the javascript file cannot able to access the dom elements why because we have, we have mentioned at the top and also if it is the file size is very much bigger means the page will take so much of longer time to render the output so the user can can't see the page until the script file is downloaded and running so that is that is the main thing so now if you don't mention anything if you are writing using this one like this without different and all those things so the default behavior is the behavior what i have told you right now so the script will be downloaded and execution and afterwards only it will be proceeding afterwards this is all the main thing so because of the reason what you are trying to do we will try to place this one as the bottom okay fine this is one solution we can do it now i will try to tell you another solution that is nothing but here i can mention it at the top okay so when i am trying to mention it at the top we are able to see that in the console we are able to get a one zero why because it is not able to access the element so i will mention this one as a differ okay now let's see what will happen so now i am able to get a count so that means one button is there here i am able to get one button so what is this differ attribute will tell differ attribute tells the browser not to wait for the script instead the browser will continue to process the html building down okay the script loads in the background and then runs when the dom is filled, fully built that is the main thing i want to tell you the differ attribute what it will try to do is so when it come across this differ thing okay so it, it it is the differ thing so i don't want to wait it here so it will not wait here the browser will not wait the uh, execution here it will go on render these all the things parallelly in the background okay in the background the download will happen okay the download will be happen so i told you right there will be two phases download and execute after downloading it needs to execute the download script that means compile that thing so it will be downloaded in the background when the download is fully completed it will wait for until this entire html file to be rendered so it will be it will be waiting after this complete html file is built built fully built and fully rendered then it will start executing this one so when this differ is there so that is the reason 
here we are able to see that one one when we are able to see it is so when it is <coughs> hdm is fully built so that is the main thing so what does the script uh, does uh, does is which are having uh, uh, scripts which are having with a differ attribute it will never block the page whereas previously if you are have without if you are having no differ means so it is waiting here it is blocking the page it will never block the page differ and differ always executes when the dom is fully ready okay that is the main thing and another thing what i want you to tell is another one is async okay the async thing async attribute is also somewhat like differ only so it is somewhat like differ only it will behave it will also it will also make the script non blocking so it will, when you mention this one as script async it will not wait it will not wait the script will not the script will not wait here the browser will not wait it here and it will go down executing this all html but some important differences is there the async attribute so when you are having an async attribute it is completely independent okay so it does not wait for the, for some time for example for mentioning differ i want to mean uh, async i want to tell you one thing so for example you are having differ here i am having another one as a differ okay let's say that i am having here main one dot js so i'm having main one dot js and here i will write console dot log main one and now what i have did here so we are having two things main and main one in the main we are having main dot js file so this is a console dot log and in the main one dot js we are having main one js file so now if you don't mention the differ here so what will happen first main dot js will execute and afterwards main one dot js file will execute so that means so here we are able to see main dot js and main one dot js and this one is also present in the main one dot js so we are able to see it so that means one by one execution is going on when you mention this one as differ okay so when i mention this one as differ now well, let's see what will happen main one dot js i didn't mention it as differ so main one main dot js will not execute main one day j dot js output will show you that means main one dot js file console you'll be able to see it first and afterwards you will be seeing this main.js file so here main one has execute first why because it doesn't have any uh, it doesn't have any differ so it will block the script until it execution completed and here this one will execute after the html dom has been completely built so that that is one thing and another thing what i want to tell you is if we have a differ both of them has a differ so then what will happen so both will not block the script and it will go on executing the entire thing and when the scripts both differ are there first it will execute the main.js after completion of this one only main one.js will be executed if you see the output here the same output which we have seen it earlier so if you are having two scripts differ means these both differ will I, we will execute one by one which is which is at the top it will execute after this one only it will execute this one so this is one behavior now you need to know about the async now you will understand about the async if i mention this both as an async okay if i having both this one as async now the problem comes here the differ i told you that first main.js will execute and afterwards main one.js execute will execute right this both the things will not block the script and another thing what it will try to do is and here when this one is downloaded completely so when this download is completed okay when this download is completed immediately it starts executing okay immediately starting it will not wait for this main one.js for example when this main.js is downloaded completely first when this completed first so it will start executing main one.js so that means we cannot rely we rely on the output which which output will comes first we cannot say depending on the download size and all those things it will wait for example if i try to see the output this time so we are getting main.js and main one.js so like this but so, but sometimes we cannot estimate the output for this one sometimes we can get the main one.js sometimes we can get like this depends on the download size and all the things right now we have only the small thing only so this, because of that reason we are able to get it but normally what we i think is it will not wait for the execute uh, both are non-blocking only but these both are independent to each other so this uh, first uh, this one is mentioned at the top means it will not execute at, at first this one when this download is completed means it will start executing directly not waiting for this one so both are independent to each other that is what that is what i want to tell you the browser doesn't block async scripts like just like the differ also it will not block other scripts also don't wait for the other scripts don't wait for async scripts and async scripts don't wait for them 
so other scripts also it will not wait for the async these are completely independent and these things when completely other other async scripts loads on the background and run when ready so these are all the things when it is downloaded automatically it will run directly so that is the main thing the dom and other scripts don't wait for them so this dom and all those things we cannot able to get it i think we are getting uh, okay we are getting zero means download it is taking some time right so because of that run we are able to get it so for example if you are having lots of lots of html and by that time main.js is executed downloaded completed means it will directly start executing that one so if the dom element is not available at that time means it will be not available but whereas the differ it will wait until the dom is completely loaded so that is the main difference between async and differ and the normal script without using async and differ those are the three different main things which we will be using in the script this is one of the main important thing